Welcome to Driver Electric with Dominic. I'm Dominic. This is my new best friend, Isaiah. Hi, hello. All right, and we're gonna take the uh, Tesla Model 3 rear-wheel drive with full self-driving FSD beta on a, uh, a loop, a test loop, my uh, Driver Electric with Dominic loop, the do loop. Uh, and we're on software 11.7.3. Three. Yeah. 11.7.4.3? 11.4.7.3? 11 right? It's so, the latest software. I just got it last week. It's the latest software. It's all we have. <laughs> I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure it's 11.7.4.3. Let's look real quick. Okay, we're back. 11.4.7.3. Yes. Yes. All right. So. Uh, so it would be interesting to see how this works. Uh, we're going to take a yeah, regular loop through Tallahassee, Florida, and uh, yeah, and lots more to come. Let's get let's get to it. Down to Portland Avenue. Now turn right onto Old Bainbridge Road. Okay, FSD is enabled, and it's just saw that car coming. And waited, oh my and gosh! It took off by itself. This is your first time. Yes, yeah, my first time using <laughs> FSD. <laughs> I forgot about that part. Right, so we can see what the route where we're going here on the screen. So it looks like we're going to. to Take the second exit. College Town. So it's telling us what, where we want to go. Got the voice on. This is actually nuts. Right. It's kind of amazing, different. The, the you know you read about it, but then when you experience it, it's like a whole different thing. Um, yeah, so yeah, I haven't done anything, anything yet. Uh, it's doing the speeding up and slowing down, all that. It's kind of modulating the, the speed a little bit here yeah. now. I'm not sure why. It's like a little slow and it's not super smooth, right? Like you'd think it would be like a robot. It's still like great. But you guess to say I'm like a human with those constant right. adjustments. But you just think, you know, with a program the computer to do that they can you know really feather the uh, response you know yeah. but uh, so yeah this is the distance from the truck that's stopping which is kind of a car length it looks like it's gonna turn right up here on the high road now turn right on to high road. a few prompts like that you know apply torque And I've got my hand like pretty much covering because every, every once in a while it'll do something like nuts yeah and if I and sometimes it'll, it'll give you a preview of what it's about to do on the screen, you know. And, but sometimes I don't notice it all the time, so I got to remind myself to look at the screen to see where it's, you know, expects yeah. it to go. That is interesting, honestly. I mean, I, I made a a tweet, and I was like, "Do you guys? People always want people, other car companies, to license FSD." And I'm like, "Do you even think FSD is ready?" And it got a, a lot of like comments from people, and everyone was very nice. Probably the most cordial Tesla tweet ever <laughs> from right. someone who was questioning it. Right. Um, and people are like, no, I use FSD all the time. FSD works really well. And I see the videos and I'm like, it works. And every now and then someone will, you know, have to readjust or take right. over. Right. Um, and even in Florida, from what I hear, Florida isn't the best. It hasn't worked best in Florida. California, of course, it's going to be Tesla state. So right. it works well there. But this is like nuts to see in person. And it's actually doing its thing. It's kind of interesting now too. It's still like the small subtleties of it where, you know, like now for a moment they were a little bit farther over to the left of the lane than, you know, it's almost got a more of a human feel to it. It doesn't like, it's not nailed to the center of the lane necessarily. Yeah, that's a, that's a, I guess, and that would be different from autopilot because autopilot is very centered of the lane from how what I've experienced. Right. Um, we were in a on a model Y performance in California. This is last year, and we had like a curve on the road, and we were like really close to the car, and had to like take over. And I'm like, I thought autopilot would be like, you know, kind of move over for right. other cars because on curves, you know, you can be kind of close. Right. But you mean inside the lane? Yeah, it was dead in the middle, and the right. other car was because it was a turn was very closer to our lane. Right. Um, and I thought maybe the Tesla would want to be closer to that side as well, but it was like dead center for a turn. Yeah, that's, that's what I found when I, uh, I had borrowed Kyle's car with, with uh, autopilot, and I was using it for the first time. And going around curves on the highway at speed, 
I really had a hard time letting the car do it because I would, you know, personally, generally, I would track on the inside of the turn. When I'm going on a turn on the highway, I, I get kind of over the inside a little bit, and the autopilot is either in the center or it's just slightly to the outside. Okay. And it's, it's just, you know, breaking my brain. Yeah, yeah, it's still like, uh, you know, a, lot, a lot of times I would just like stop it from, you know, take it, yeah. take it, take over control of myself. And yeah, it's, it was hard for me to really give up control of the car to the, the system. And here, okay, yeah, we're doing like 31 miles now. I can speed it up here with the, the right wheel. So we go, everyone goes at least 35 on yeah. this road. Yeah. So, have you watched any dude loop videos before? Oh, yeah, I've watched every single one. Okay, <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> you upload them. I'm like, first, I don't have post notifications on, but I'm very active. I don't watch other social, like TVs or anything. I just watch YouTube. And so, right. you'd be there, and I'm like, you click immediately to kind of watch. So you can see we're going to turn left on Tennessee, yeah. but it doesn't take that, you know, the shortcut here. Yeah, I that, always wondered. If it doesn't take that. I think there's probably too much going on because there's stop signs and there's pedestrian warnings. And right. Or maybe, maybe it's just too much. Seeing there's people walking and like yeah. slowing down for them. It's like stopping. And there's a car coming up behind me, but I, I let it go because that was kind of yeah. interesting. So I wanted to see if it was going to come to a complete stop. It really didn't. Uh, do that properly. It really shouldn't no, stop. Sir. Stop right for people to slow down. Now it's crossing a solid line to get in the right-hand turn lane, <laughs> which is no bueno. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's not supposed to do that. I've, I've seen it in video do that before. In front of people, you know, the guy, the person behind me is like, looks not happy. Yeah. With that move. Question: Do you think because the van behind us was pretty far back mm -hmm. when those pedestrians were on the sidewalk? Right. Do you think if they were closer behind us, the car would have slowed down? Yes. Uh, yes, it doesn't it's take really, account for other. Yeah, it doesn't take other people like that into account very much. So it's it doesn't know which. Oh, oh it's okay. It's taken the shortcut. It doesn't. Oh, we've uh, just. <laughs> okay. Well, we interrupted the. Uh, Yeah, we intervened. We didn't mean to intervene, but it was really kind of lost there. I think it yeah. just hit my hand a little bit too hard, or maybe it just gave up. I was don't that know. Was the person in the correct lane, did, or did they go to the second? I don't know. I'm not. I was just. It yeah. was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so we can always stop here. Comes to complete stop. Goes. That's great. So this is the shortcut I've mentioned a few times that it yeah. never takes, and we've ended up on it. Yeah. So <laughs> it's kind of kind of odd. See. It's never tried to get into that right lane before. Yeah. And approaching that intersection, it, it's always, I've done it about three, four, five times, I don't know. It's always gone that left lane, and I don't know why. Right. You, know, it, you know, you saw what happened. It was kind of yeah. like breaking the law. I'm not, you know, no, no, it's, like, it's not a felony, like, yeah, yeah, but. Yeah. <laughs> not the best. It's not even a misdemeanor, really, but it's a traffic. Uh, I don't know if you can get pulled over for that. If you look it's a little sus already, you know, and the cop sees you do that, maybe that's the reason enough to, or an excuse to, you know, pull you over and yeah. make sure you're sober and all that. All right. So we're tracking in the middle, but we got this bicycle lane coming up, so it's shifting. But we're in the right lane, the proper lane to go through where we need to go through. So it's going to go around. You can see it's going to send us around, but sometimes now we've got it. Uh, headed, we we're headed for College Town, but for some reason it thinks College Town is off here somewhere. It doesn't take us up gain, so I need to put in another to go. Okay, another waypoint to get up to the next Street. part. You know, okay. yeah. So how was Japan? Isaiah nice. here just got back from a trip. Yeah, to <laughs> Japan. The, the uh, you went to the mobility show. Yes, I did go to the Tokyo. The, the, Pan Mobility Show it used to be the Tokyo Auto Show. Right, they changed the name. Right, um, I got to go to the 2019. Yeah, <laughs> it was great. The it was very nice. Um, I wish I took more time to kind of go around. I had an, a haircut appointment mm -hmm. over there, um, and well, it's gonna be kind of complex because there are not a lot of people who can cut African American hair. Right, and so it was very like fun to try to find someone in japan who could do it so i had this special appointment okay that i had to go to so i left kind of early but from what i saw i mean i saw so many evs um 
I saw the new RX, is it the RX-8 or RX-9 that Mazda was showing, the concept. Oh, okay, right, right. RX car, mm -hmm. um, Subaru Solteras, the, I was really hyped to see the Mercedes G-Class, the EQG. Oh, that was there? Yeah, it was very nice, nice to see in person. I was yeah. like, hey, it really is like a G-Wagon. Right. Um, few other smaller EVs, and I'm trying to think of the Toyota concepts were nice to see. Right. Uh, Daihatsu, Nissan. I didn't see, because I left early, I didn't see BYD or Honda, um, which I was like, I wish I went to see the, the prelude, the EV concept, and then as well as the the new Honda EV that's coming out. I'm not sure what right. that is. Right. Actually, I think the prelude's going to be a hybrid, they were saying. It, originally, hybrid, okay. originally, they said it wasn't clear, and so a lot of people thought it was an EV, but they, yeah. They, hybrid, okay. See, so we need to get in this right lane, but it's not It's not doing it. Okay. I'm probably trying to do it last second and squeeze it to way in. Yeah, but this guy's coming up on me yeah. on the inside, and I need to change waypoints. Also, shoot. shoot. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's getting into proper lane now. That's good. Okay. Like, I don't know why it didn't do that before, but okay. So then we need to get on 401 gains. Okay, we're good. Awesome. And we're still got the little blue FD. steering wheel up here, so FD is still engaged. And we're headed down Gaines Street now instead of going off to that yeah. little right hand side thing. Yeah, so do you speak any Japanese? I do not. Yeah, no, which oh, is kind oh, of. Let's, let's go. No. <laughs> do not understand a word Zen Zen? Uh, I just ask if you speak Japanese. Yeah. No, yeah. No. Zen Zen is like none at all, basically. Yep, yeah. none at all. I was, wow. um, it was. It was not as bad as I would say some other countries trying to understand what the other person was saying i ended up in like this japanese tea shop and nice. i guess i ended up with like this 20 like coarse tea section like 20 different teas and <laughs> i was totally confused because they did not speak a bit of english at all and so it was kind of funny getting through that but right. um so you drank like, 20 different kinds of tea no i, I left way before that <laughs> i ended up bringing like four or five um you can stay for the full 20 but you didn't have to okay. so it was, it was which was nice but uh, very, very beautiful country. I was amazed by how clean. Yeah. And every, there was a job for every position. I mean, from simple, like, crosswalks, you know, very, very slow and small uh, is walkways. There would be a crossing guard or something. Right. And, you know, this everyone has a position. This is a tricky intersection. Sometimes it'll try to cut through. We're headed this way, so it won't try. But one time we tried to, like, we were up here and it, like, tried to go through there. But, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> it slammed on the brakes. Yeah. Like that. It's, it's it done before. And then I look behind me and it's, it's a car. A, it's like, a, uh, okay, okay. reactivating. First and the car behind me just had to stop yeah. pretty suddenly, too. I saw their passenger kind of like put their head forward. So that is not, no bueno. No, <laughs> that is like, so not good. Because that's how you get rear yeah, That's how you get, get rear ended, <laughs> basically. But it's going and slowing down here for no reason it's like st already in the in the way yeah yeah so, yeah. And, yeah that's not great so that's uh that's a fail to me <laughs> yeah. no i think i'm still like a taken one back like it's still doing this on its own i'm like wow right it's, it's <laughs> but yeah doing, it was a it's mostly uh, doing good but then you know it does things that you know either Ill, you know improper or inconvenient or Something dangerous with like sl slapping on the brakes like right. that. It's just not safe. Okay, I need to put a new waypoint in and navigate up to uh, Deval, Deval Street. Yes, Deval's the south and north. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah, Deval's up there. Okay, and then we'll make sure it looks like it's going up to the, yes. And I remember what I, what time it was on. There was a road closure on Duval. And then F no, this is this is one of your dude loop videos. Oh right, right. And it had to like you're they're trying to figure out where to go and trying to go between the signs. Interesting. I yeah. didn't see many Teslas in Japan. I was kind of surprised about that. Oh really? I mean, maybe like one a day. Okay, uh, some then something. I, I think yeah. I saw maybe one when I was there, possibly two, but but I was only there for a few days, so it was probably like a one a day or maybe slightly. It's stopping a little early for that. I just give it a little bit of accelerator yeah. so the person behind me didn't have to slam on the brakes again. They're already mad at me. I think. <laughs> I'm just... 
So do you use FSD often? Like, do you ever have to run an errand, use mm -hmm. FSD? Usually no. Okay. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Usually this is the most I generally use it, is uh, doing the do loop, because it's just kind of slow and indecisive sometimes, and then it'll do... I just prefer driving. I like yeah, driving. Same. And, uh, yeah. If it drove better than I did, I'd let it do it. <laughs> or if it drove... Yeah. yeah. Not there yet. See, yeah, I tried to turn down here before, which is closed off road. Building something? Wow. I guess Tallahassee, they're always building something right now. Right. Yeah, they're supposed to be a new business building. Um, yeah, College of Business. Okay. It's for that. It's supposed to be built like before the pandemic, then the pandemic came again. Right. We need things to keep longer. So I think the last time it tried to turn left on Bruno. It, it's gonna, oh, yeah, it's a one way. Right, and it's got the right, the wrong. 500 feet, turn left onto South Duval Street. Okay. So I don't know what was up with that. That was bizarre. See, it works great until it doesn't. I should have a turn signal on. Now turn left it's a little late with the turn signal Street. on. So. It's got one now. Yeah, but we're kind of not. We're not way over the right hand side. At least we're in between the lines, at least. Yeah. It's good. It's all over the hump. That's good. It's in the immediate left lane, then it signals and gets in the next lane. It's very strict up usually about that, though it's broken that rule sometime, a couple times. Like when it breaks the rule that it's been following forever, it's like okay. a bit weird. But yeah. I guess the, uh, the software changes, you know, the, its behavior changes. So this overhead uh, yellow flashing light, sometimes it acts weird for that. It's ignoring it today. Okay. <laughs> Completely ignored it. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Sometimes it'll want to come to a complete stop. Yeah. And then there's a few more coming. There's after this green light, the next one's a flashing yellow. So, and I'm pretty sure it slowed down for that one before. I'm pretty sure it slowed down for that past one before too. But now it's getting to the right lane for some reason. Not, oh, this because this is where we navigate into. Okay, <laughs> okay. we gotta change the navigation point. Yeah. Um, okay, so I think Fourth Avenue. Okay, that was interesting. IX. Oh, where's that? On the left hand side of BMW IX. I missed that. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I hadn't seen I saw one. a lot of them. I was. I haven't seen one in Tallahassee. That's the first one I've really? seen in Tallahassee. Yeah. Yes, I love that thing. Even when it first came out, even with a crazy BMW kidney girl yeah. thing going on. But it's oh. crossing on the solid <laughs> yellow again. You know? Like, or solid white. In the middle of the intersection. And it's gonna to have to get it in this right lane again anyway down the road. So that's a that's a fail. Has it ever gone into this further left lane, which is a merge? No, not okay. yet. Uh, but if you look here, you know it it sees that the next move is, is like a, right? a right hand turn. So I'm not sure why it's you know why is it getting into the right. left lane? What is weird too actually? Maybe this has something to do with that behavior on the highway when you're driving in with full self driving. It'll put itself in, in the far left lane and sit there for, you know, even if there's not trying to go around traffic, it'll just, if there's no traffic, it'll it'll go over there just because, it, I don't know, which is like terrible. <laughs> you know, it's like what, there's laws against, states have Dude, laws yeah. against that, if driving in the, in the passing lane without, you know, if you're not passing. Now about state laws, does FSD change per state? Does it have a, or is it standard across all states? So, okay, so you just put on the brakes for that flashing yellow. I hit the accelerator to get us going again. I think it's back the same everywhere, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have a. They could do that though, because it has, you know, it knows the car knows where it is, right. so it could alter its behavior by state, which would be kind of interesting. It's going to have to get in this right lane. Or hopefully, okay, there we go. Put on signal. Let's get in the right lane. And I'm constantly monitoring, monitoring the, the rear view, make sure we're not messing with people yeah. too badly. And once we get through this intersection, I need to change it. 500 feet. Turn right onto West Fourth Avenue. So I need to get this all into one smooth thing so it does this whole loop by itself now without me having to change it. Right. There might be a way, but I haven't figured it out. Okay. I like that. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
slow down. It's a little, little slow right there at the very end. It's like super <laughs> slow. Super it picks slow. Picks up as soon as it. Okay, it's go there. to Officer Ponce, and that's right by Lake Ella. That's the. In 500 feet. Is that the road that goes around Lake Ella? Yeah. Yeah. Now turn left onto North Monroe Street. Okay, naked yellow, naked left turn, so no protection, and uh, yeah. it tried to kill me that one time here. Pulled out a bunch of cars coming, so it's, we got yeah, clear. Oh. It's, it's, oh, we got it's all clear. We're good. And it's just gonna go right. Yep. Into this lane. Now it knows its next turn is gonna be a right. So I'm not sure why it waits so long to oh, get over, but right. hmm, let's do it now. Maybe it's waiting for a solid white line to cross. I don't know. Oh. He just looks for the solid <laughs> white lines to cross. <laughs> right. He just waits for them. <laughs> Who knows? In 500 feet, turn right. down to south. Yeah, I think it saw that. Yeah, car kind of that car out. kind of edging out, so it kind of reacted to that, hitting the brakes a little bit. When you're watching the video, it's kind of hard to feel all that stuff. Notice it. But when you're there, you can really tell. When you're in the car, yeah, you thing. really feel all the small little things that are that are going on. But, yeah, I wish it and then down this road, it like goes really fast. I'm gonna yeah. see if I can block that. Five hundred feet. Turn sharp right onto Officer Ponce Way. Then your destination will be on the left. Slowed it, down, slowing it down. To... Yeah, maybe I don't remember in the video. Have ducks ever? Because this is a, a park right. where there are a lot of geese and ducks. Do they ever like, come across and? I can't remember if I had to. If it's happened on a video, I mean, it happens in, in real life all the time. <laughs> okay. Whoa. And we're going the wrong way because right. I didn't put in the next then waypoint. Huh. Still though, I mean, they kind of handled that. Yeah. Sort of smooth. <laughs> turn left. It said, okay, let me turn that off. Turn around, not in the police station. Now turn left. Let's go turn around and we'll head back to get the last, last little bit of the dude loop. I'm off course. Now turn right on to Great Amber Road. Oh, I've never been here before. Just one, one time. Let's try it. Alright, I'm gonna take a picture. <laughs> this moment. Now turn right on to Officer Ponce Way. Okay. In 500 Ponce feet, Way. Your destination okay, ending, will be on the ending line. that trip. And then we need to navigate to. Right, dude, and it's the parking, and then right. autopilot, and we're good. Well, well, hopefully, we're good. Oh, yeah, right, okay. They're doing some construction over here, way over here on the right hand side of the lane. It's all over the lane. This is kind of crazy. <laughs> it's moving through this area, yeah, quickly. And yeah, yeah, max speed is 25, and it's going right, I'm slowing it down. Max speed, 20. Yeah, usually cars go super slow around here because yeah. of the ducks or they're playing Pokemon. But I guess the the legal speed limit here is 25. Right? What are they doing? I don't know. I had to, I'm hitting the accelerator to make it go because it stopped. And it always puts its turn signal on for this bend in the road. And it's, mm -hmm. it's behaving poorly. <laughs> <laughs> That was Sharpie anchor yeah. on, the, on the wheel, and I was driving in the middle of a two-way street because it doesn't see the uh, any dividing lines. But it should know that this is a two-way street. Right. But I guess it doesn't. I guess as a car comes in, it's kind of right. Now turn right left onto Legion Street. Now it's gotten the right lane, the proper lane, and we're gonna go in here. Yes. Ooh. It's Ooh. going okay. It's that was a terrible turn <laughs> it turned over to the right to go left yeah like i laugh at them. i hit the brakes and turn it off i laugh when human drivers do that in like small vehicles you know it's like a big vehicle kind of move that's interesting though that's yeah so we're at lake ella usually i do a little stand up here i don't want to park in the big Just 
really open that up. You can drive through this way now. Let's go back into this little driveway back here. I'm not used to looking at cameras to back up with. Yeah, I don't. My car has no cameras. <laughs> it's a little manual. Okay. I have to do this so I can see the screen because I, of the I'm glare. The, yeah, the glare. I mean, oh I guess. My God, it's, I feel like it's, they should all come with a film, a mat. What is yeah, it called? Anti glare um, mat. Right. Yeah, that would be nice. A mat, anti glare mat. All right. Awesome. Okay. Let's jump up and uh, jump out and do a an outro, I guess. <laughs> All right, so we made it to Lake Ella in one piece. Yes. No, no, we didn't hit anybody. No one hit us. Thank God. <laughs> it was close. You know. So, what were, what were your overall impressions? Uh, I think I was really amazed by it's a. I mean, just seeing it in person. Um, as you said, being in the car is a lot different than seeing it on video, and so you feel a lot of those jerks and such. Um, but. I think there's a, a way to go. Uh, I think it needs to be more confident and commit on certain intersections. It does break a little bit of rules, mm -hmm. but I think um, for something that is, and this is just vision based, right? With this, as far as I know, it's okay. So this would be, it'd be vision and the sensor. It, it does have the sensor and it does have radar, I guess, but I'm not sure if it uses those things oh, anymore. For this FSD, right. I mean, even then, I think compared to. You know, a car like Waymo that has all of the LiDAR and everything. Mm -hmm. I think this is actually pretty decent for for just a car and cameras. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. It's nuts. I, I think so. It does a lot of things like amazingly well, I find. Yeah. yeah. So what was your Twitter question that you put a, they had a lot of responses to? What ah, did... yeah. So a lot of people want Tesla to license FSD to like Ford, Rivian, and Lucid. Right. Because, I mean, Rivian's Driver Plus uh, sucks. <laughs> Lucid doesn't have... Uh, a highway system. Um, Ford has like the blue, uh, blue cruise, blue cruise, right? Two point oh, I think. Um, but none of them are really as good as autopilot or and FSD. So people want to license. They want these companies to license FSD from Tesla. Right. But I don't think Tesla and FSD are at that stage yet to license to other companies. Okay. Um, you know, Tesla is familiar with. The Model Three, they understand it and its cameras, and I think maybe some of the hardware differences and could be a bit different for those other cars. Um, I think FSD has to be really set in stone, like proven, reliable before you know you license it. And so maybe V12, V12, V12. V12 is supposed to be like the full, yeah. actually for real, full self-driving. You don't have to touch the steering wheel. You can fall asleep, kind of deal. Be, it, yeah. it, I mean, if the government <laughs> lets them, gives them that kind of thing. But then the, uh, yeah, at that point, then if there is an accident, then Tesla has to accept responsibility. Right. So I'm not sure if they're going to make that jump. You know, that's Mercedes. That's what Mercedes has done with her with her system, right? Uh, but only up to 45 miles an hour right. at this point. Uh, but I'm not sure. Yeah. But just to get back to your your Tesla thing, your your sorry, your Twitter question. So yeah, not ready for. Not ready to be licensed, licensed in your opinion. It's great for like, you know, if you want to add and buy FSD and try it for yourself. I think it's definitely, you know, you have a Tesla already. I think that is perfect. I think it's really cool to try, but right. as a product that Tesla software could sell, I don't think it's really there yet. I'm, I'm really interested to see how it does on the Cybertruck because the Cybertruck is so much bigger right. um, than the Model X even. Mm -hmm. And so I wonder what, how it will perform because we saw it went in the middle of the lane and maybe taking the last few seconds to intersect, things like that. Um, because the Cybertruck's so big, I wonder if it's gonna be able to handle that as well as like the Model 3, which is the smaller, you know, um, Tesla vehicle. And it can really go in those corners really nice and well versus, you know, Cybertruck's gonna be, right. it's gonna be huge, so. Yeah, massive, uh -huh. right on. Yeah. Okay, I, and that has the, the Cybertruck's truck is going to have the latest hardware. Of course, yeah, this has like this has it. like hardware three, and like Teslas today have hardware four, and I guess that's what probably what Cybertruck's getting. Yeah, hardware yeah. four. They've seen the pictures. Yeah, the cameras are a little 
a little different. I saw in, when I was in Shinjuku, Tokyo, they had the Highland Model 3. Okay, oh yeah. And I saw the hardwood floor and yeah, it's a lot different. Okay. And the camera's a lot, a lot wider, so the sensors are taking right. more information. Right. They did improve the hardware number three, the hardware three cameras. Right. For after, after what, three years or whatever it's been, like just a, a month or so ago, all of a sudden the camera, the views are like a lot better, like what they should have been for years. Oh, yeah, I really. do remember this. Yeah. yeah. See, I remember yeah, seeing Because yeah. they're, on these cameras, it'd be like a little orange tint, and then now right. they're kind of more clear. Yeah, yeah. like it seems like pretty basic color filter. Yeah, you want to see know, whatever. clear. Yeah. Anyway, That's awesome. thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll catch you all again in the next one. Ciao. Awesome.